That was refreshing, I said there. Now we are moving from Gorky Gora to um, Rosehuto and uh, you can use the bus on this road not far but the road is complicated you need to switch the sides so, I mean taking the shorts across the river from one to another and there is also a um, uh, animal complex but I'm against animal exploitation so I won't go there and you it's up to you there's tigers jaguars some a lot of animals it's just here nearby and uh, but we decided instead of going by the bus we've take a little forest trip so um, from this area you'll recognize it on the left side on the map while we're moving there will be a, an uphill road The legend is, in 1964, uh, uh, the Caucasian War was over, somewhere around here in, in the mountains. Uh, then, in 1978, uh, uh, the Greek people came here and said, like, we want to live here. They said, okay, uh, no problem, and they start living here. And later, in 1996, uh, uh, 36 Estonian families moved on here, and they have an agreement and a conclusion that they're going to uh, live here, and also they brought a culture of make wonderful apple gardens so they did uh, and most of it is all territory of uh, Esto Sadok that the whole land is named like Esto Sadok and the uh, last train goes to Esto Sadok and there's a Krasnaya Poliana village just a little bit downstairs and we are going to the Rosa Hutter so there is like Six or seven uh, skiing resorts like Gazprom, Laura over there. There's an animal complex, ecosystem, also wonderful views. Their own top mountains and clouds and good views. This is a Gazprom, what is it? Uh, cable road, yeah, cabin road. There you'll see a lot of pine trees, small pine, but they will be bigger. Now it's off season, so but on a summer period and especially in winter oh, so many extreme riders we was walking over there you can see people walking right there now and then moved on the bridge and now we came here and there's only one way and uh, now you keep on walking straight and nothing specific for you to do to get to a uh, achievement target and if you go on that side There'll be a few difficulties, you just keep on walking by the road and then there's a hotel we've been living in and there's, you can see, a Gorky Gorod. My point is that you can really do it for one day. Uh, one night here, then you just go to a swimming pool at Belarus and English lesson if you need it. If not, then a Yem and Yem canteen and then go to Gorky Gorod. There is a casino, you can play around, <laughs> play in there and then walk on Mzimta river yeah this is a uh, Mzimta river it goes straight to the russian abkhazia border in uh, miritinsky resort on the left from there so um everything is connected here and here we are we came to rosa Hutter. that was the road you've seen the details right and the views is always around you and there's seven uh, different uh, cabins from here that goes like this one okay this is uh, Alpica or Gazprom in two. So seven different lines from 900 meters to 2.2 kilometers. And uh, you can choose whatever you want, like the, some, some of them for walking, for bike, take a ride on a bike, downhill, uh, skiing, snowboarding. I'm not doing those stuff, so I don't know, to be honest. But if you, everybody is satisfied with the quality of the roads, everything is okay there. Whew, now we got to reach the city hall. A few minutes more.
same as Gorky Gorod, but Gorky Gorod is a couple of streets. Uh, high rises, I, you know, technically it's not a high rises, but comparing to all of this around me, there is a tall buildings with many, many floors, like six to nine sometimes. And same with the Gorky Gorod, located on two different heights, like uh, heights, uh, 500 meters and 900 meters 60. Uh, but we've been there and uh, same with here is Rosa Hutter. There is another uh, piece of it. It's technically different. It's Olympic village, but I call it like like one um, And there's a uh, cabins you can take to get in there. Also, you can take a free free bus or Get there by the car or any kind of transport. Also, because you know there's a, a shop with not as the highest prices that we expected it's kind of the same in uh, everywhere else but a little bit more but the same like and there's many products with a normal price and you can even get a hot tea in there for less than a dollar hard to see but in here I can see the skating ring and parking lot and a Japanese restaurant and Sakhalin it's uh, an island nearby the Japan seafood restaurant I think you can see a bar you can see a bar you can see everywhere there is a bars so we keep on going but my friend decided to quit a little bit they freeze then they said no we won't go further but i want to show you uh, the last stop of the easiest walk here in uh, rosa Hutter. so you keep on walking first of all there is a, a meat house restaurant over there the price is, is kind of same as in sachi so you can have a proper meal for ten dollars a person you get a good food okay uh, something like in a lot of places here but best one is yam 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 ah you've seen it on the riverside we keep on walking you can use this one but curves there's a summer camp uh, and summer period you can swim here uh, no yeah swim i think yeah you can swim swim in the lake taking a sun bath uh, kind of a rest area there's an animals in here there's a plant there's a details it, at the end there will be uh, two options this cabin the entrance is free now they are saying oh try not to go there but I will but I will and there is a, a balcony over the river with an interesting view on uh, everything around Rosa Hutter uh, you know what I'll just keep my mouth shut because I'm freezing and I um, don't know what to say uh, so I'll just <laughs> make a picture okay so enjoy you understand everything by your own and just imagine it's summer oh wow the top high here is to free this one there is a little bit hard but that for the one who are ready for this and who is enjoying hiking in the, in the mountains of course I'm just started so this was first for waterfall is not far and just 100 150 meters from the from this point of entrance and in summer period there is a zip line you can on the rope which one starts right here yeah so there is a again big ring a middle ring small ring kind of a circles we're not not going on any of them now but you just know there there are here I always say that I'm the person who don't like being cold but here in mountains I realized that's exact the lowest temperature is comfortable to me and I saying wow it's good because getting higher, I'm getting warmer, you know, and I'm not freezed anymore. I can't even take a swim now. And it's so beautiful in here. And the temperature is cold, it gives me a difference between hot and cold. That's why I always have to be in somewhere at cold places. You want it to go get warmer. So now it, Casna Polana is a good temperature, very comfortable. Where well, I walk to the waterfall and it's small now 
it used to be bigger or in the summertime on the spring especially when the snow is melting isn't that beautiful so here we are our final stop here at Rosa Hutter. That was refreshing, I said there. Keep on walking this direction if you want to get a tea. But honestly, we, are, have a, we have a kitchen, so we're just buying products and eat uh, at home. Good thinking. Now we're going to Perikryostok. Perikryostok is the super, super shop for Krasnapel and you can buy everything here. Here they are. So I found my friends, we'll buy some food, make a supper and I'll give you all the rest of information because for us the vacation in Krasnapel is almost over. Almost over. Go to Russia, subscribe our channel, uh, press the heart button, belly, the bell, everything. So press everything and pull on some like in comment like oh thanks for your idea really want to go to Russia and use one of your roads and trips to have a good experience yeah